holidays, they're going to be here before you know it, and you don't want to let your holiday travel plans creep up on you. Some place you may want to consider for flying in or out of is the Abraham Lincoln Capitol Airport. I'm Mark Hanna, hanging out with us here at the airport. Welcome. And, well, we're glad to be here because some people may not realize that this airport is a great option for travelers. Absolutely, absolutely. We are just minutes from downtown Springfield, and with the free parking, short lines, um, it's local. Which airlines fly in and out of here? Currently, we have American Airlines, United Airlines, and also Allegiant Airlines. Uh, United and American are daily service. This year, starting in February, March, and into April, Allegiant Allegiant will be flying four times a week down to uh, Fort Myers, uh, Punta Gorda area. Yeah, a great option for our snowbirds here yeah, in Illinois. Absolutely. So being a smaller airport, does that change the time that you need to arrive to get checked in? Maybe you don't need that two hours that you would need at, at O'Hare or Midway. Right. We like to say about an hour. And a lot of people become accustomed to, oh, it's a small airport. I can come in and, and get right on in five, ten minutes. Well, no. The, if you're checking bags or if you have to check in at the ticket counter, you have to be there at least 30 minutes. So you have to give yourself a little bit of time even before the 30-minute window. And if you're flying days where there's a large, uh, uh, or Allegiant, they're flying 180-some seat aircraft, sometimes when people come in with giving themselves just a few minutes, the line can be you know a little bit more so than on a typical day. We have a pre-check line, so people, if they're a, a routine business traveler, they can bypass the line and get right yeah. in as well, too. Well, and then that's where the app comes in as well, so Absolutely. definitely stay up with that. So let's talk about your space here because you're, you've gotten some grants and yes. you're doing some upgrades, million dollars worth of upgrades here to make this a better flying experience for travelers. So let's start over here. Uh, the corridor from the main passenger terminal, where we're at now, uh, down to the, uh, the baggage claim area, that area will be widened. Uh, to allow for more overflow uh, people uh, you know when they're at the baggage claim area and it will also provide a nice corridor uh, for people where this may be their first time to Springfield yeah. when they come down this corridor they will know that they are in Springfield we're gonna Abe Lincoln's gonna greet them right yes here. we will have Abraham Lincoln uh, <laughs> greeting them and all kinds of uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln and and Springfield uh, historical uh, uh, pictures and artifacts and things of yeah. that nature. Okay, let's move over here because you're expanding outwards as yes. well. So here we have the outside of the airport. Yes, we are moving uh, the interior walls out to the sidewalk uh, to allow for more inside where we're standing right now, more space for the ticketing, the, uh, the pre-security area. And we will be updating all of our sidewalks, heated sidewalks Whoa. to, you know, alleviate uh, moisture, slips and falls and salt. And no one likes to drag, you know, salt on their wheel bags and things like that. So the little things like that we're thinking about when we're designing this. Yeah. Um, and then this is uh, just a, a panned out a larger shot of the same space. But uh, in the center section is where the new screening checkpoint will be. After 9-11, uh, a lot of airports were caught trying to update the security systems and, and work with the Transportation Security Administration with the footprint that they have. And it's been 17 years, and, and it's time for Springfield right now to uh, do a, a, a do-over, if you will, a total makeover of the security checkpoint screening lane. It'll make that process more efficient, and it will allow us to accommodate the newer technologies that they're using. Yeah, definitely a nice um, way for people to feel extra safe yeah, when absolutely. they're flying. So, absolutely. And then you've also experienced and have improved your um, facility for private planes and made that pretty luxurious. Absolutely. Uh, it, it's time to update some of these facilities, and that's part of some $22 million in work going on right now. So where private aircraft, business aircraft, where they may come in for uh, one or two uh, days um, for trips, business trips, uh, we'll have a nice first-class facility to welcome people doing business in the capital city and also for private aircraft owners. So it'll be a first-class facility, modernized, and, and with all the amenities that people come to expect. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. It's going to be even more so um, here coming in the next year or two when they start working on their expansion, but a great option for travelers right here in Springfield. Absolutely. Free parking short lines and easy access and local and if you need any more information about the abraham lincoln capital airport here in springfield we'll connect you at cliving.tv mark thanks so much thank you for being here